Hello all, welcome back to netstrikers.com. My name is Aditya Dube and it's been a four video till now since I have recorded a video tutorials for ASP.NET MVC and uh, almost all of it are contain the practical demo but you just need to relax now because I'm just going to focus on the theoretical stuff which is the view data, view back, temp data and session and the differences among each of them. Now it's a very important and a very common question nowadays in an interview. Uh, if you are applying for a job in a, uh, as an ASP.NET MVC developer, so this may become a very common question if you are a fresher or an intermediate and uh, that is uh, tell me something about view data, view back, temp data and session and how these are different from each other. So let's get started and uh, introduce one by one. Now let's start with view data. Now view data, temp data, view bag and session are all the session management technique and they are ultimately helps to supply data from one end to another end whereas the view data passes data from controller to view. Now as we discussed in our previous video we had transferred the data from view to controller but in case if you want to transfer the data from controller to view you use view data and view data is a dictionary object that can be derived from view data dictionary class so let me just mark use the marker so that you can understand better so the task of the view data is to pass data from controller to view and it is a di dictionary object that is derived from view data dictionary class it, its life lies only during the current request not for the subsequent request that means you use view data only once and if you reload the page or the request or resend the request the view data value will become null however there are various ways by which you can persist the data which we are going to look in our future videos when we are going to demonstrate on the view data on a practical aspect but as of now you just understand this concept that it life li lies only during the current request and if the redirection occur its value become null now another point which is very important for the view data it it is required typecasting for getting data and check for the null value to avoid uh, error so this is just a mistake i just need to remove it so in order to avoid the error you just need to require type casting in the view data so that's how a simple uh, simple uh, definition and the simple declaration about the view data now let us understand about the view back now view back as sounds similar to the back which contain the data so view back is also similar to the view data it is also used to pass data from controller to view but view back is a dynamic property and the viewback property viewback is a property of the controller based class this is the point that you need to remember viewback is a property of a controller based class it lives li it, its life lies only during the current request just like the view data it is not for the subsequent request that is if i redirect the url or if i uh, reload the request then it value become null so that's the point number 4 now the another very important point for the view back it doesn't require type casting whereas the view data that we discussed in our previous slide it required type casting but in the view back it doesn't require type casting for getting data now let us understand about the temp data now temp data is different from the view back and the view data it passes data from controller to controller well as we discussed in our previous two slides View data is used to transfer the data from controller to view. Similarly, view bag is also used to transfer data from controller to view. But the temp data is used to pass data from controller to controller. Now let us understand some more point regarding temp data. Temp data is a property of the controller based class. Also, we want to notify that temp data is used to pass from current request to the subsequent request that is redirecting from one page to another page now we are going to use the temp data in our future video when, uh, in which we are going to perform the practical demonstration that is it is since it is used to pass data from controller to controller then we are using the redirection of the page or something like that so we are going to perform on the practical stuff but for the theoretical knowledge let us 
just learn that it passes the from the current request to the subsequent request that is it redirect from one page to another page its life is very short and lies only till the target view is fully loaded so if the target view is fully loaded it its life become null or its uh, data will become empty so another point which is the fourth point which is it required type casting for getting data and check null value to avoid error so as in our previous two slide when we discuss about the view bag and the view data so it required type casting whereas view bag doesn't require type casting view data required type casting and temp data required type casting so that's the very important point that you must know now the last point which is very important about the temp data is that it is used to store one time message only one time message like error message and the validation messages so this that's how a temp data usually mean now let us know about the parent thing called as session which is a very traditional and very common uh, technique which is used in almost all of the languages so session is a property of the controller class whose type is http session state base this is a very uh, sleeky definition which is session is a property of the controller class whose type is http session state base session is session is used to pass data within asp.net mvc application that is you can use the session variable within your whole application scope and unlike the temp data which lives lives only the for the single or the uh, consecutive request well session is used to persist data and until it expiration time by default the 20 minutes is the default time for the session to expire but we can increase the session time according to our need the fourth point which is very important for the session is session is valid for all request not for the single redirect and you can use session in multiple places but it may uh, bulk um, it may be a bulky for your application to use the session because session may slow down your application so it is not recommended to always go for a session uh, the last point which is a very important point it also required type casting for getting data and check for a null value to avoid error so we had this gone through the discussion and we have gone through the differences among each of them so you can easily get the one of them so only view bag doesn't require type casting whereas view data view bag and the session required type casting so that's how we understand the concept of view data view bag temp data and session i hope you understand this concept and uh, if you want uh, some more Uh, some more explanation then wait for the next video where i am going to demonstrate each of one of them in a practical scenario in an application so that it can clarify your doubt so that's how uh, we had learned about the view data view bag and temp data and session so if you have any suggestions and doubt please do let me ask in the youtube comment section of course wait for the next video where i am going to demonstrate about the practical demonstration about each of them so i hope you'll enjoy it if you have any